In this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to name ethers. Just before we begin, an ether is a hydrocarbon derivative in which an oxygen atom is single bonded to two carbon atoms. In other words, it's a hydrocarbon with an oxygen sandwiched between the carbons. As you can see in our molecule, we have these two carbons attached to this oxygen and a four carbon chain on the right. Our first step is to write the alkane name of the longest carbon chain. So we have one, two, three, four, four carbons. That gets the prefix but. And for all alkanes, it's ane. So that represents this part. Next, we'll name the oxygen and the smaller alkyl group as an alkoxy group. So we have two carbons here. That gets the prefix f, eth. And this prefix will end with oxy. So this part is ethoxy. So, so far our name is ethoxy butane. Now we also have to take into account where this oxygen is found. And we can do this by numbering the longer chain from the end nearer to the alkoxy group and give its location. Given that this carbon is the nearest to this oxygen, we write down C1, C2, C3, C4. So the oxygen exists at one ethoxybutane. That's the answer to question number one. Now we have to find the IUPAC name for methyl phenol ether. So this is most likely a common name for a chemical, but we have to write the IUPAC name for it. To break this down, all ether molecules have the following structure, where we have the rest of the group connected to an oxygen, and that's connected to the rest of the molecule. So an ether group is technically a functional group that you see on another molecule. Now we're being told that it's ether and there's a phenol. Phenol looks like this, where you have a benzene ring, like that, and it's connected to something else. We'll call it R. Phenol ether suggests that we have this ring attached to oxygen, and the fact that we have methyl, that suggests that this R is methyl, CH3. So if we were to name this using the IUPAC nomenclature, we would say benzene. That's a benzene ring, and there's no need to write down one methoxybenzene. It's assumed that if it's not written, then the benzene is attached to the ether functional group. And there you have it, two examples on how to name simple ethers.